Okay. Well, I didn't put it in there because I didn't know that this uh, chapter 46 had so much information in it. So the one I just did is going to be part one, and now I'm picking up, hopefully, the complete uh, part two, and picking up with verse one, uh, three, nation startled and later silence. Yeah, it is three, verse three. A song number two. Is that wrong? Yeah. Startled in silence. That God would really redeem the Jewish people and in the same manner that he did in the Hebrew Bible with one man. That the time to come of Jeremiah 31 began when the state of Israel was created in 1948. And that God's righteous servant fulfills and completes the remaining six prophecies of God in the day of the Lord. Verse 4. He who is, and, and this is reading Psalm 2 for today, in this day of the Lord. Well, the commentary is a little different because of that. As you saw how much of 53 I just read. You can find all that in Isaiah 52, 15, leading into 53. He who is enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord mocks at them. <laughs> you got to really hear that. His personality is something else. He can do all... He can be all kinds of people. He fits in with anybody. And he speaks to them in anger, terrifying them in his rage. Midrash. Then he speaks to them in anger. Commentary. The Lord speaks through his scripture and his righteous servant, Moshe. Verse 6. And this is all God's commentary, okay? And what the whole thing is is, Keith, go to Psalm 2. Type this, etc. Verse 6. But I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Clearly that's God talking. But I installed my king on Zion. Commentary. Today it is prophetic for his righteous servant, Moshe, and Elijah, who is to clear the way for the Lord to return to his temple, which must be rebuilt first. When the temple is built, God will return to it suddenly, and a righteous servant will be installed in an abode to be honored in Jerusalem. I live in a room. I'm looking forward to an abode that can be honored. Isaiah chapter 2 be honored. Chapter 11, verse 10. You didn't know I had that memorized, did you? He controls my mind. All that was from him. Verse 7. Let me tell of the decree that the Lord said to me. Who is he talking to? Most Davis. It starts out, David's the one speaking. I guess it's David and God. You are my son. I have followed you this day. You are my son. Commentary. Israel was God's first son, and then David. That would be Jacob, became Israel. And then Solomon. Son of God is a term of endearment and signifies a close relationship with God. This was originally for King David. Today, it's for me. A righteous servant Moshe. Terms of endearment. <laughs> uh, I'm in the fire refinement. We really don't toss that word around too much. 
Verse 8. Ask it of me, and I will make the nations your domain, your state, the limits of the earth. He's talking to David. Your state, the limits of the earth. Commentary. God's righteous servant is described in Isaiah 53, which provides in verse 12. And it's God speaking. Assuredly, I will give him the many as his portion. He shall receive the multitude as his spoil. Those are the witnesses of the first six verses of chapter 53 of Isaiah. Combined, they're all the same people. Verse 1 through 6, same people. Because they're in quotes. The quote begins at verse 1 and ends at the end of verse 6. Nobody seems to know that. Jews for Judaism, Toby is Singer, um, Shabbat.org, Art Scroll. There's various, various theories on how they got left there. The Jewish Publication Society, translation, Hebrew to English, 1985 version. It's the best, it's the best translation you can find on the market. And that's explained elsewhere, too. And in the book, I mean, it's the first thing you get to is why we use that particular book. Verse 9, you can smash them with an iron mace, shatter them like potter's wear. Them. <laughs> that's in quotes. Are the world leaders and heads of nations, leaders of states and government organizations, and leaders of religious foundations and organizations, including churches and leaders of groups of people in general, and those that promote anti-Semitism and the conversion of Jews to Christianity. This is still part of the commentary, but it's coming from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 4. It says that... Uh, God's anointed, this is in quote, well, it's from verse 4, shall strike down a land with the rod of his mouth and slay the wicked with the breath of his lips. It will be the Hebrew Bible and the words, God has his anointed one speaking right. Verse 10, So now, O kings, be prudent and accept discipline, you rulers of the earth. Verse 11, no commentary. Serve the Lord in all, tremble with fright. Verse 12, pay homage in good faith, lest he be angered and your way be doomed in the mere flash of his anger. Happy are all who take refuge in him. Now why wouldn't he tell you right here there's going to be world exaltation of the Jewish people? It's, not, it's so far from that. And that's not in the Hebrew Bible. If you've been taught by your rabbi, a world, like Jews for Jews and teachers, and I, you know, Toby Singer's got 66,000 followers. There's no telling what Jews for Judaism is. And I haven't even tried to find out. Okay, that's it for chapter 46, part 2. Next, uh, next chapter of 50, I've only got three to go, four to go. Chapter 47, David, shunned and despised. Psalm 69. It's very interesting.